All right, today we've got Dave Sweet from Telco and uh, Lee Renfro from GoFro. What's, What's up, up, guys? How, how you guys doing? Good morning. Good. How you doing? Pretty good. So I want to jump right into uh, who who Dave is and 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 what Telco does. So real quick, Dave, just jump right into it. Who are you? Sure, sure. Um, basically, grew up in a small town, Vermont. Uh, you know, location and and grew up on a farm, ended up in Atlanta, um, ended up working, uh, for, for telecommunications company right off the bat when I was about 24, 25 years old, um, turned around and, uh, uh, did pretty well right off the bat. Um, you know, right off in, when I was 25 to, to about 30, I, I was, I was really hustling and, and beating the streets. And then the next thing, you know, um, you know, the market kind of shifted around, well, roughly around 2008 to 10, and and um, basically what we've done from there is work with um, uh, vendors um, and and help them kind of become a, an extension of their business. Uh, we we try to come in and uh, add a lot of value to uh, vendors like Lee um, and and give them the opportunity to uh, stick to their work um, while we help and and uh, generate revenue for their business via sales. Um, so we, I've been doing it 16 years this year, and um, we've done a lot of uh, mom and pop businesses, all the way up to uh, large hospitals, to um, anywhere to schools, nonprofit schools, and uh, pretty much help anybody in between. Um, so who we are is we represent about 180 different carriers nationwide. Uh, we really focus on like I said, that extension of, uh, you know, a uh, vendor's business where they're going to stick to their work. They've got enough work to do. Um, we become a, an arm of their business and help them generate revenue on, on leads they would normally turn down or, or uh, you know, otherwise just say, you know, go find it or, 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 or look for it here. Um, we come in, consult with them, go over what their options are and make sure they're a good fit. Uh, the carrier is a good fit for the customer. Um, from there, you know, we manage it. A uh, lot of emails go back and forth uh, that Lee never sees. Uh, we, we, you know, manage the account, make sure they're happy, uh, return them, add services, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. Um, so we, we come in and kind of manage the account. Uh, and again, we, we go as, as far as the vendor would like us to be involved. Um, if they're a very involved vendor, usually go ahead and, you know, allow them to kind of control the reins. Um, from there, we basically do what, what they'd like. Uh, we, we then, you know, partner with those people, um, have a business agreement with them where they're going to be able to uh, obtain a, a reoccurring revenue from, from majority of the services that we offer. But uh, that's it in a nutshell anyway. Yeah, so recurring revenue is a pretty big thing for for a lot of these companies because you know if you do structured cabling it's kind of a one and done scenario so lee you you do structured cabling you also do like alarms and, and voip so like how did you get hooked up with telco and like how have you leveraged you know this type of model uh, for your mm. business gofro yeah i can't even remember how long me and me and dave have been kind of working together it's it's got to be close to 10 years uh, on and off yeah. really heavy for the past five or six and, um, you know, what we've done is we, we, we've kind of created a community amongst our customers and ourselves. Um, what I look for, Dave, when I have a customer that says we need voice over IP or I really need a better Internet service or I need managed services such as a firewall or, or any level of managed service agreement that they're looking for for their network. Maybe it's just cloud backup. Um, I reach out to Dave. I send him an email with a customer name customer address, what they're looking for. And he'll send me just a, a big list of carriers and options with sometimes five to 10 different options that I can go through with the customer. Say, oh, you're looking for 50 meg internet. Here's, here's five different options that we can pick from. And we'll go through and we'll call out the ones that we don't want to look at. And uh, I'll sit down with the customer and we go over them. We get back with Dave and, um, you know, we start the process. So with voice over IP, it's, it's, I give him the number of users that we need, 
Uh, and we, we can even do a call path model, which is a really um, price competitive way of doing hosted voice over IP. Um, and Dave kind of takes it from there and he, he just, he works with our customers really good uh, and, and he stays on top of it. So when we hand off, we, we work together also. So he'll, he'll email me back and, Hey, I need, I need more information on this. or the customer doesn't really know how to answer these questions, but yeah, the recurring revenue has been great. I mean, it starts out low, obviously, until you build your customer base up, but then they also have promotional uh, months where uh, if you sell something, you can get up to four or five times the monthly amount, you know, and, and sometimes I just get a, I'll just get a check from telco, uh, monthly for a couple thousand dollars. And then sometimes I'll get a big bonus check of three or four or $5,000 or whatever because of a sale that we've made. And it's not really even limited to the region that you're in. We've sold stuff over, I'm in Georgia, South Georgia. We've sold stuff in Texas because as our, as we grow, our customers expand too. And you, when you get into customers with multiple locations, uh, we're selling stuff all over the place. We've got a restaurant chain that's covering Georgia and in the North Florida. And every time they open up a new place, um, Dave's on top of it and we're getting them service. We're getting them internet service. We're getting their phones delivered to them. Um, so the, like I said, it's just another way for us to help our customers. And a lot of them, uh, when, when we go on site, you know, if I see just a, an inkling of a window of an opportunity, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm diving right in right. Head first. So I'm like, oh, oh, you said you don't like your internet service? Uh, w let me find you some more options. And then I bring Dave in and we just knock it out of the park. So really the issue to me is I've been doing this for so long. I know there are other integrators out there that can benefit from this. There's a ton of um, oper owner operators in the LVN I can tell by the posts. I can tell what they're asking. They go through the same things that I go through every day. And to have this other revenue stream is just incredible. First of all, it's incredible and it helps out and it just gives you another way to help your customers. So that's going to, that's really why I'm here today is just to say there's other ways to make money and, and this business than just going out every day. And, and this is one that you can either reach out to me and I can help you get involved with Dave. You can reach out to Dave. So between the three of us, we're going to be able to get you to a point where you're comfortable talking to the customers about these services. Yeah. It's pretty low hanging fruit. Like you don't have to do like a lot of work. You just have to identify the need, which it's yep. already there in front of you. You're already installing the infrastructure. Why not? That's right. Up, That's upsell right. them. Yeah. 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 So, and you mentioned, you know, you do stuff outside of your kind of your region. I mean, Dave, you do stuff nationwide, correct? Or you do a specific region you cover? Yeah, we can cover all over the U.S. Actually, I can, I've quoted stuff in Saudi Arabia before. Uh, I mean, pretty much anywhere in the world is open at this point. Um, you know, we offer, like, like Lee was saying, we offer just about everything in, you can think of from the internet side on broadband fiber, fixed wireless, uh, whether it be cellular or satellite. I mean, I've got access to Starlink. Um, I, you know, with the voice, we can do SIP. Most people are going hosted. But, um, you know, like you said, with the upfronts, you're looking at, uh, you know, hosted having some very good upfronts um, these days. And, and it's, like you said, it's low-hanging fruit. It's stuff that you just have to refer over. Uh, we can take the reins on it. And that's where we kind of, you know, we're different than other agencies. You can sign up with them and, you know, other big agencies. We're, we're considered a mini, mini master. Uh, you can sign up with a lot of different agencies. They'll just say, hey, here's, you know, go at it. And they don't really give you any assistance. Um, we're going to be there. I've got, you know, upwards of 14 different engineers I can reach out to. Mm. We're going to have a lot of resources. Uh, from that standpoint, you're looking at um, you know, we can also give them marketing material if you're wanting to do email blasts or if you're doing uh, mailers, we can give you, you know, give me your logo, I'll put it on to marketing information and send it back to you and, and give you a nice handout uh, to, to give people if you're mailing. Some people still do that and it's very effective in, in some avenues. Uh, emailing's good um, and we can help there. Um, so we're different in the fact that we're going to get more involved. Uh, we're going to get, uh, you're going to have access to pretty much any resource you can think of. Um, and it, and it gets deeper. We can do cloud services, storage servers, DR, uh, backup as a service, uh, managed devices, help desk. 
um, IOT things. That's been huge with, um, you know, a lot of restaurants uh, managing, you know, fridge temperatures or water consumption in certain areas or, or, or for governments, um, you know, machines, life alert. I just did one for life alert for older people in, uh, or, you know, whatever may need uh, someone in a higher risk in a gym, in a gym, and they basically wear this necklace around uh, their neck, and it's a life alert, and and it's something you can make. I mean, like I said, you want to talk about low hanging fruit? That's like seventy five, eighty dollars a month in recurring revenue for two or three of those, and then, uh, you know, with the re residual, you're you're making a small percentage of it. And and the good part about this is it's not just the contract life. It's not hey, we signed it up for a year or two years or whatever. You can have three, four, five, ten years of residual off one customer. I've got many customers from ten years ago that are still with me. Yeah. Um, we, we obviously keep up with them, and and we make sure that they're taken care of. Um, but yeah, we definitely are a different breed over here. It, it, it's definitely a different style. And like I said, your your main business is is to go after what you're doing, low voltage right now, and and we want to come in and. Uh, be be an extension of your business and make sure right. that you know you don't miss out on this income. Right. Is, is there a sweet spot, like an ideal customer for you, or is it anywhere from like two users to five thousand users, or is there a specific sweet spot? Really, uh, you know, we can we can get competitive on really large deals, and we can be competitive on um, you know mom and pop shops. What what I end up calling them, I've been calling that for years. Uh, you know, we, we can do like the franchises we do. They, they only do two phones at each of them. Um, and they get uh, a very good deal on it. Uh, now, if you've got 5,000 phones, then yeah, we can work on a percentage, uh, getting a percentage off the, the MRC and, and getting really aggressive. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I broker all the carriers. So I, if I, there's a target price that we need to match to, or, obtain from one of the carriers or, or, you know, work on, uh, you know, price to just, just bring it down overall. Uh, that's not a problem. We, we can get extremely competitive, uh, best prices in the industry is what I'm seeing. Right. Hey, one time, uh, this is, and this is one time I don't, I, I don't really want to mention any carrier names, but me and Dave <laughs> went in repping a carrier and, um, that that same carrier was providing a quote to the same customer and we were in lower, we were in lower than the carrier. Yeah. So uh, that don't even make sense to me, but um, <laughs> Dave is really, really good. He's like a bulldog and he's the, in the fight, man. He don't let go. And he, he gets them to drive the prices down uh, on a lot of this stuff. And, and he, like I said, he, he hand walks the customer through the application process. That's why me and him work well together. Uh, and, and even past the point of the install, when we get into the service stuff and the project management and the testing and turn up, if there's any issue and I email Dave, he's on top of it and he's calling out the people, he's calling out the reps and, and, and asking them why is this happening. So it's it, not only is, is, you know, the whole product good, but the service behind the product is good and he makes it that way. So it's just so easy to do. And I hate for people to be out there missing out on money that, that they just say, Oh, call Comcast or call so-and-so. No, 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 don't, you don't have to do that. You just hand it to him and he'll handle it. Yeah. And you said you have 13 engineers on staff. I think that's really critical to have people you can actually talk yeah. to that aren't salespeople. Right. When it gets over my head and, and, Hopefully not Lee's head, but when it, get, when it gets over, I'm a sales rep. Look, at the end of the day, I, I definitely will bring in any type of engineer, whether it be an IoT, a cloud engineer. Um, you know, if we're designing something, I'm in the process of designing some, you know, network for, uh, you know, government agency right now. And I mean, it's it's crucial to have those additional ears in there to, to listen to the customers, see what equipment they're using what maybe SD WAN application would be best for them to, you know, make sure they have the highest security levels or, you know, pretty much uh, it, it can be anything that these engines involved on. And it's really just calling up, hey, Dave, I've got a really, you know, good opportunity, but it's, it's kind of dicey and I need someone to sort it out. That's where we bring them in. 
we come in, sit down, go over, you know, on a Zoom call, go over what we need, make sure the customer is happy in the direction we're going, uh, provide three or four quotes, and then come back and say, hey, let's go over these quotes. And then if they're really interested, we can we can turn it into a demo and then really show them the back-end software, whether it be hosted IP software or SD WAN software, where they're showing, you know, performance of the circuits, utilization, you know, status, health of the circuits, you know, pretty much everything you can think of. So, um, yeah, we've got everything right at our fingertips, and we can make it super easy for for anybody to join in and and push forward and and really just turn around and get mailbox money every month. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah that's what it turns out to be. Uh, like I like it when that check rolls around. I know within the first couple of days of the month, I'm getting that I'm getting that check from Telco Solutions. And, uh, and, 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 that, and like I said, it's, it's, it just keeps coming. Um, the more, and the more we refer it, like it's, it takes several years to build up to that, um, to get comfortable with it. But, um, the level of product solution out there, like, uh, even if it's just one dial tone and the customer says, I just need an extra fax line or, you know, I just, you know, whatever, um, MPLS, SD-WAN, a PRI, if they're trying to integrate it to a current phone system, uh, hosted phones, right. you, you name it, all anything that the carrier sells and the and the list of carriers. I just kind of invite you to go to Telco's website and check it out. I mean, you can do um, AT and T, Comcast, Windstreams, um, you know, all the all the big big name brand carriers, and every one of those carriers is actually has subsidiaries under them that they own part of, so they can resell that service to other carriers. So there's just a, a, a ton of other carriers out there under the AT&Ts, under the big boys that, that you can get services from at a discounted rate. Um, and we've even had some where uh, we had uh, fiber to the business where they do not have fiber currently and um, where the whole build out, I'm talking like two miles of fiber has been comped by the carrier because a lot of this rural broadband grant stuff, if they find a, a business that qualifies, they don't have to have anything up front sometimes um, to, to, to get that service to their business. Right. So yep. ne next steps, uh, I'll put some links in this the description of this video, but uh, what's the best way to get a hold of you and get kind of get the ball rolling for somebody that's interested, Dave? Sure, sure. I mean, uh, very simple. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still an emailer. Um, you know, Lee can attest. It'd be dsweet at telco solutions, and that's D S W E E T at telco solutions dot net, and that's T E L C O solutions with an S on the end dot net. Or you can give me a call, 678 315 1870. That's my cell phone. You can text me, you can call me. I, there I, you go. I'm literally, that is exactly the mode of communication I have. I, I'm on my cell. I have the app for myself, my hosted phone on my, my cell. So you'll always get me that. Cool. Yep. And I, I can attest to that. There's, I don't know how many times me and Dave have had to even have a discussion while either one of us were on vacation, but you get to that level comfortableness with him. And I don't mind him calling me while I'm gone. He don't, I mean, and vice versa. We, we just, we're kind of at that level now. He's, he's just a part of my team as everybody else, even though, awesome. you know, he, he's for somebody else. And that's, that's just kind of the way that, that, that I've built the ones around me, but just be able to share that. And I just encourage anybody that is interested or, or remotely thinks that they can do this to, to give Dave a call. Cool. All right, guys. And well, I appreciate your, go ahead. Go ahead, Dave. To say even if it's a, a one and you know you want to test the waters uh you know throw me throw me a bone i will get you what you need and if you want to do like a, a one or two type deal to figure it out um you know and see if you like how it's set up that's that's cool if you want to move on and obviously uh keep selling stuff great that's even better but um you know by all means give us a try or or give me a try shoot us an email call us figure out what what would be best for you and and uh we'd love to work with with anybody that's out there awesome. i mean this this is a a zero dollar investment here that dave's not asking for you to give him any money or anything he's just right. asking for an opportunity there there is no fee for this service or i mean I, just to get that out there that we're not asking you to join a club that's in the multi-level marketing it's just a way that you get paid for making referrals in the telecommunications industry so cool 
Well, all right, guys. I appreciate your time. Thanks for thanks yeah, for man. joining, and uh, we'll we'll talk soon. Thank you. All right, man. See you.